Hi, welcome back to Easy Moto Tim, where I share tips to enhance your motorcycle travel experience. Today we'll look at the trip planner inside Garmin Basecamp. The trip planner in Basecamp allows you to plan multi-day trips and it automatically creates routes for each day. Now this is an advanced base camp topic. I'm assuming that you have watched the earlier videos on setting up base camp and doing simple routing. So now let's look at the trip planner. Here we are in a clean setup of base camp. The first thing I'm going to do before starting the trip planner is to add a folder. You can put trips in folders, but you can't put trips into lists. So that's why we create a folder first. Then we go to the menu, click Trip Planner, New Trip. And I'm going to change the default from one day to three days. We'll keep eight hours a day. Unclick round trip, we'll just do one way. I'm going to start in Atlanta. You have to click the entry in the drop down. Go to Oklahoma City. And click in the drop down. Then we click Start Trip. And it will calculate the trip. So let's see what we have here over on the left. We have the three days that we asked it to plan for. Day one goes from Atlanta to Fargo. That's Fargo, Arkansas. The second day goes from Fargo, Arkansas to Oklahoma City. Here in the details, we have the big icon for day one. If we right click on that, we have some choices. The first, advanced, brings up the uh, regular route planning. Let's change this to uh, red. We have our beginning point Atlanta and our ending point is Fargo. You click on that, that's a waypoint. You click on this area, it turns it blue, that's a waypoint. And you have the choices to uh, deal with the time, edit the waypoint, or move it up and down. Here we have a slider. Now in the last video we looked at the slider in um, Harley Ride Planner. So this moves this red balloon over on the uh, route, along the route, and here it tells you how far you are and what you're near. So let's say we're going to go 150 miles, and stop for gas. I'll top, type in fuel in the search box and I'll pick just the first gas station that comes up. So you see it added the waypoint between Atlanta and Fargo. Now I really don't want to go the entire distance on day one. I want to go 300 miles. So here we are at 300 miles, it's near Sherman, and I'm going to type in hotel. We'll find a hotel there. I'll pick the first one. Um, it's in Tupelo. Notice what it did here. The day doesn't end in Fargo. It ends in Tupelo. And it added the hotel in Tupelo as the beginning point for day two which you see here, America's best value in Tupelo to Oklahoma City. If you search for anything that's not lod lodging, it will add it as a waypoint. If you search for lodging, like hotels, campground, RV park, it will end the day at that lodging and begin the next day at that same lodging place. Let's look at day two. 
Now that's 566 miles. We could go back to 150 miles and uh, put in our gas stop, but I want to um, just go to 300 miles and look for a campground to end the day. And we'll pick this KOA. And it asks me, do I want to use this lodging point to begin the next day? And I say yes. So here we go, uh, 279 miles on day two from Tupelo to uh, Moreton, Arkansas. Then we have day three, which starts at that KOA, and it forgot that we wanted to go to Oklahoma City. So we have to put that in. And this is just one of the many features or bugs in the trip planner. Um, you'll get used to it when you when you play with it um, it has sort of unusual behavior so here's our third day uh, 288 miles to Oklahoma City and we can uh, click right click advanced bring up the uh, route list we can change the color we can play with the route list as we did in um, any, any of the things you can do with routing. Now, notice these dark line, wide lines. Those depict what they call a hub. Anything inside the dark line is a hub. This is not a hub like hub and spoke. A hub is simply a grouping of days. And you can add another hub. Um, the green plus sign allows you to add days. And you can right click on the day icon at any point. You can show it on the map. Or you can add a day after or a day before. Uh, whatever suits you. For instance, if you want to um, go to a museum in Tupelo, you can say add a day after the first day. And I want to go to a museum in Tupelo. And there's the Tupelo Automobile Museum. So that's a place we could go to on day two. And notice it inserted that day. So on day three, we go from Tupelo to the KOA. And on day four, we go to Oklahoma City. Now you could also add in uh, America's Best. We'll stay. Um, the night, a second night there, and it automatically added that to our third day because it was lodging. And I'm going to move this up. I'm going to click on day three, click on this one, right click, cut, go back to day two, and paste. So we go from the uh, hotel to the museum and back to the hotel. Now on day three, we've got the hotel in there twice. We'll click on that and delete it. When we're done, we click the button down at the bottom called exit. And here we see in the folder view, we have our folder and our trip, and each of these at the next level are hubs. So we have this hub with two days in it, and this hub with two days in it. If we go to the trip, right click, open trip, we can go back to our trip planner, 
And we have in this square box the ability to change the view, hub view or flat view. Flat view just shows you the days. Hub view shows you the groupings of days, days one and two in the first hub, days three and four in the second hub, and then exit takes you back to the folder view. Now, on any hub or day, you'll see the associated day, day in the list below. So there's the waypoints and the uh, route for that day. Those are listed as you would expect in the list below. That does it for this introductory video on the trip planner in Garmin Basecamp. I'd like you to experiment with the ride planner. Add days, add waypoints, uh, just play with it and get comfortable. You'll find that there are inconsistencies and bugs in it. But if you're comfortable with it, you can deal with those inconsistencies. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support my channel, please head over to the Amazon pages on my website. You'll find affiliate links there to the products that I like and use. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.